Hi there, I'm Elias. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since we last talked, huh? It really has. It's been October. I made a little video about trying to get a 3090 and that didn't really work out. I made a little update about BMS in there as well. If you watched until the very end, you might know a thing or two about that. According to the schedule, and let's be real here, this is really my schedule. It's my internal clock that I set for myself. In the beginning of November, I was really hoping to have the BMS graphics and visuals module in alpha. That didn't really work out. Or it did work out, I put it in alpha and the feedback was, it was quite clear right off the bat. Everybody I talked to liked where it was going, but the execution was a little flawed. And let me explain a little bit about what happened there. So my original plan for BMS was to have a mod list that kind of worked for everybody. It wanted to be a mod list that was both for the novice user and for the experienced user. And that's not something I kind of want to get away from, but I realized that it's kind of a big piece to chew or a big piece to bite off right now. It, it's definitely feasible and the idea that I have in my mind will work. It's just that I can't do it all right now and I think that's really the problem. I want to do it all right now. That's not something that's gonna work here. So what is happening to BMS? Well, the short story is, is that BMS is, and when I say BMS, I mean the best mod list for Skyrim, is moving to uh, Wabajack. Now, some of you might already know what that is, others may not. Wabajack is, Wabajack, Wabajack. Wabajack is an automated mod list installer. It's not a mod pack. It automates the process of installing mass quantities of mods on your machine and patching them as well. So it's really quite neat. Uh, it's been around for about two years now, I want to say. When I started BMS, the option for Wabajack has always really been on the table. It's just that at the time, I didn't quite feel like it could do everything I wanted it to do. That has since changed. Wabajack is incredibly feature rich and I can do most of what I dreamt of doing with BMS with Wabajack. And the cool part is, is that I don't really have to scrap much to do it. Wabajack, um, it works off uh, Mod Organizer 2. It's the same thing. It basically automated it. I guess the best way to describe it is it takes your entire MO2 installation with all the mods inside of it, all the downloads and everything like that, and it installs it on a different machines by getting the downloads directly from their source, i.e. there's no redistribution involved. The point is Wabajack doesn't redistribute files or anything like that, it just automatically installs them for you right off the bat. The cool part is, is that it's on Mod Organizer 2. Basically all the work that I've had to do minus the website stuff is stuff that I would have had to do for the Wabajack mod list anyway. So 90% of the work is going uh, straight to the Wabajack thing and I can basically continue where I left off, which is great. I don't have to redo anything and redo any of the steps, which is awesome. I've been considering Wabajack for a while now. Basically in February when I uh, released the mod list for you guys, I started this project uh, last November, so it's been a year now, but when I released it last February, uh, I had already considered that Wabajack might be the future of the mod list. Now is that day I have to transition to Wabajack, and I think it'll be a better solution for the journeyman user. Now where does that leave the other users, the evokers, the wizards, uh, the users that want to tweak the mod list, it doesn't really have to change for them either. Here's the cool part is because it's all through Mod Organizer 2 and it basically installs my Mod Organizer 2 on your machine, um, you can basically install it and then tweak it as you like. But what is changing here and I think um, maybe something that I have to make clear now as I'm starting to realize this, it's that even though I do want to support evokers and uh, wizards, basically the advanced users that want to modify my mod list to their own personal taste, I realize now that it's not something that will be immediate. I cannot guarantee that anymore. And the reason is, is that, oh, easy there, microphone. Okay, hopefully you can't see it. Anyway, the reason for that is, is that I, I, I've been working on graphics and visuals since, basically since June. Since the start of June, I've been working on graphics and visuals. If the original mod list had a bunch of mods in it, 
and let's be real can, compared to like other mod lists out there that are more established and that have been around longer um, bms does not have that many mods at the moment graphics and visuals has bumped that number up staggeringly and when i say staggeringly i really do mean staggeringly it's bumped it up to 500 already and I'm not even complete with it. It'll probably be around 600 or so when I'm done, maybe even more. And the reason for that is because BMS has really kind of done something that no other mod list out there has done when it comes to graphics. It's cherry picked individual textures and meshes from basically all the mods out there to give you the best. That leads us to kind of another thing. Prior to realizing that Wabajack is the way to go forward, I was hoping and planning internally to get it done at the end of November. That will no longer work for me, and I say that now because I'm realizing how much work had to go into that, and because I, I don't feel like in a, it's in a state where it's quite ready yet. The initial pr impressions were good, unfortunately I don't want the initial impressions, I want better, and that will take some time. It won't take as much time as I thought if you saw my Discord post, but it will take um, a little bit more, I think. That leads me to another thing, um, unfortunately. When I say the best meshes and textures, I really do mean the best out there. That means the highest quality, the highest polygon counts, everything like that. That will mean that at launch, uh, graphics and visuals will not support uh, lower end machines or possibly even some middle tier machines. BMS is initially looking to target um, the new generation of graphics cards, that means the RTX 6000 series, no, not the RTX 6000 series, what am I saying? Uh, the Radeon 6000 series and the RTX um, 3000 series. And the highest, the higher end tier for that right now is what we're looking at. Um, 1440p, uh, that's 2560 by 1440 for graphics cards like the 3080 and the 3090 and of course um, the Radeon uh, 6800 XT I believe it was. That's what we're looking to target and because of that, that does mean that everybody who's on lower tier machines will not have anything to look forward to at launch day. That is something that I want to change, uh, rest assured that lower end hardware is a top priority for me. I realize that by far most people that are modding Skyrim do not have the most powerful hardware in the world right now. And believe me, I'm in that vote too at the moment. So yeah, that will take time. Uh, at launch, I am looking to support the top tier GPUs, not um, anything below that. Maybe um, 75, 75th percentile and higher basically is what I'm looking at um, performance wise. And you can look up those metrics. Um, online by yourself if you want. I might throw something in the description if I remember. For now though, that is what I am looking at. 75th percentile and higher when it comes to GPUs for 1440p and up. Now that does mean that of course, if you wanted to, you could install these mods and then crank down your monitor's resolution. <laughs> I'm actually interested to test out what it would look like in 720p, even though nobody really plays at that resolution anymore, but obviously like 1080p and stuff as well. Uh, 4K Skyrim um, Ultra Modded, like an Ultra Modded, I mean literally the best of the best. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen on this generation, unfortunately. Um, we are targeting 60 FPS um, for, for uh, the respective resolutions, of course. So 4K 60 FPS, um, it probably won't happen. <laughs> uh, 4K 30 FPS is possible if you want to play at those frame rates. I don't expect that most people do want to play at 30 FPS. I know that I see uh, frame rate stutters like below 40, so that's kind of my cutoff mark for modded Skyrim, and I think it's probably about the same for most of you as well. Um, especially because Skyrim has these areas of really intense performance outside, like in areas like Falkreath, uh, the, far, the forests of Falkreath, and like Riften especially, um, opposed to these low performance tiers like dungeons where just about anything can run a Skyrim dungeon, right? Even on max graphics, but it's the outdoor areas that we're that I'm really concerned about. So anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of the BMS update. I've been working on it. Here's here's what I have done for those of you that are curious. I have um, general uh, meshes and textures all the way completed. That's like buildings and stuff, uh, wood. I have weapons and armor done. I have creatures done. I'm working on bodies right now and faces. Um, hope to get that done. All the outdoor areas like trees and stuff. 
uh, yeah, that's that's pretty well it. Um, there are other things that I want to add, of course, but again, it's all stuff that takes time and because I have to look for compatibility and stuff and make sure that everything's working with the records, so that's all the stuff in the plugins. Um, it does take a little bit of time and yeah, we'll get there eventually. Uh, I'm one of those people that likes to do a lot and I don't like being... I don't like having to slow down and uh, this is one of those times where I just have to like take a deep breath and say okay we need to go a little bit slower. Um, it sucks, I know I just, I want to snap my fingers and get it done yesterday but that isn't the case with life unfortunately. Um, what else is going on? <laughs> um, if you're actually wondering about my personal life and why uh, things might be going a little slower now, it's because I have... Uh, almost a full-time job. It's about 30 hours a week now, so a little over 30. Um, I work at a preschool. Uh, I love my little kids. Uh, I love working with children. I love teaching them things, so I have to make lesson plans for them. And, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot because, I mean, like, what do you have to teach uh, four and five-year-olds, right? But it's actually kind of involved. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's also got its own challenges and rewards, just like BMS does. BMS isn't going anywhere. BMS is here to stick around. I know some of you might be worried or afraid that it's not going anywhere. I assure you, BMS isn't going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> it's not. I love it to death. I, I mean, sometimes I hate it, I gotta be honest, but it's, it's my passion project. Just like this YouTube channel, which I've been neglecting for the past... Uh, six months that I've been working on, maybe more, uh, for the BMS graphics and visuals module. Anyway, hopefully, um, well, not hopefully, my, I've, I've made it a goal for myself to get back to making videos, and this is probably the first one. Yeah, I, I want to get back to making videos. I love working on BMS, but somehow I have to find a way to balance that with making videos, even if that does mean BMS is going to be developed a little slower. And besides, you guys like to know what's going on anyway, right? Yeah, hopefully this is a great update for you. I'll catch you in the next video.